Hi guys, uh, this is Anthony Greeno with a review of Norton 360. This is version 6, 2012. Uh, Norton 360 is an all-in-one computer and internet security protection software from Symantec. And I personally use Norton products for many years now, and I found them very useful. Uh, some of the key features of Norton 360 are PC security, identity protection, file backup, and PC tune-up. They, they also have another feature called Norton Online Family, which is a parental control feature. So let's review these features in more detail. In terms of PC security, uh, it includes protection from online intrusions like viruses, spyware, and uh, malware. Uh, it also includes browser protection uh, when surfing the internet and it scans for incoming and outgoing email. Norton 360 automatically scans your computer when it's idle. However, uh, you can pre uh, you can run the preset and custom scans at any time, including a Facebook wall scan, which basically uh, you know scans uh, your Facebook wall for any malicious links. Uh, Norton Insight uh, allows you to check if any processes are slowing down your computer. So, as you can see on the screen on the left side, it kind of lists down all the processes, and actually if you scroll down you'll, list, you'll get to see all the other ones. It gives you a trusted uh, kind of um, rating there as well as um, a rating for low, moderate to high uh, usage of your memory resources. In terms of identity protection, Norton 360 anti-phishing technology protects you when surfing the internet by giving you advanced warnings of potentially suspicious websites. Uh, the Norton Safe web feature basically warns you of potentially malicious websites directly in a web search and it gives you safety ratings. So for example, I ran a, you know, a web search on Google on Windows 7 and um, as you can see alongside the results you'll see a little um, Norton 360 rating. If you see um, Norton Secured Green OK button or icon um, and you just hover your mouse on it you'll you'll have this little report that shows up a summary um, in this case it's not secured um, which is the highest rating and it's very fine very sign trusted uh, the next one is the green icon which says OK on it and it basically indicates that the website is safe the other one is the red um, cross icon and in this case it basically indicates that the site is unsafe and um, it basically as you can see here there's 74 computer threats if you click this full report um, button here this yellow button it'll give you more details the other one is the gray question mark icon and um, it basically indicates that the site is untested um, and there's yet another one which I haven't personally seen. It is a yellow exclamation mark. It also means cautionary. So you got to be kind of cautious when you, if and when uh, you visit their website. In terms of the Norton 360 Identity Safe feature, it allows you to create a password vault which saves your passwords for future use in encrypted format. So this is a really useful feature that um, at least um, that I find. In terms of the automatic um, you know, backup, um, Norton 360 automatically, you know, um, backs up your uh, your computer, and you can actually set up scheduled backups too. Um, you can back up your files online or to your local drive. And um, with Norton 360, you get um, you know two gigs of uh, free online storage space. But personally, what I do is I just um, use my external hard drive to back it up. Uh, the good thing is that you can create uh, several backup sets and um, there are, like for example if you um, back up your whole computer that could be pretty time consuming and if you do it on a regular basis it kind of kind of you know it could uh, consume a lot of your time so what I do is I create a uh, you know backup set uh, for for a weekly one which is less uh, time consuming it uh, contains only a few files that I use uh, you know more frequently and one uh, backup set for on a monthly basis which backs up pretty much a whole computer. Um, in terms of the PC tune-up feature, 
uh, Norton 360 runs disk optimization and file cleanup programs to fine-tune your computer's performance. It basically, um, you know, performs defragmentation of your files and deletes unnecessary, uh, you know, uh, temporary files like your Windows temporary files or Internet Explorer temporary files. Um, it also has a diagnostic report which checks the computer's hardware and software and reports any issues and fixes for it. As you can see here, the green check mark means, uh, means everything is okay, whereas, uh, um, you know, an exclamation uh, orange uh, icon like this indicates that uh, there could be a potential problem. In this case, it's indicating uh, Norton 360 has detected a large number of startup items which could be slowing down the computer's boot up time and if you click the fix now button it'll kind of give you options that you have to fix that specific problem. Uh, Norton 360 also has a monthly report which basically um, you know outlines all the activity that Norton 360 has performed in the past 30 days and if you click this links and the report it'll basically give you more details on it. As indicated earlier, um, Norton Online Family uh, is a parental control feature which is free to use uh, for parents and uh, you know to basically help protect their kids online. And they also have a premium feature to it, but um, which is uh, available only to U.S. residents. In terms of the competition, the comparative data used uh, in this chart that you see on the screen uh, is based on several independent tests run by Dennis Technology Labs, Passmark Software, and AV Test GmbH. And um, as you will notice uh, from the results, uh, you know Norton 360 has scored either better or equal to the competition. And the ones that I've used are the ones that are more popular: Kaspersky, AVG, Panda Global, and Bitdefender. Uh, like I've said earlier, you know, I've had a positive overall experience um, with Norton 60 products uh, and also with the 24-7 customer service. Um, they also have, um, you know, a, a free trial that, uh, for 30 days, so you can kind of give it a try for 30 days. Um, of course, uh, this is my my experience uh, with Norton 360, but um, not everyone has had the same experience, so obviously it's something that you need to kind of test. Um, I have actually uh, written a full detailed review um, at the link that you see on the screen. You can also get that link in the description section of this YouTube video. You can just click it and I'll take you directly there. Uh, you will also find the 30-day free trial link in there. So hope you found this um, review useful. If you've got any questions or comments, you know, feel free to leave them in the section below. Thank you.